हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्राइम्स क्योर्स एंड मैरिनेट्स एंड इन टुडेज सेशन यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर शाहपुत्री प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज वाइडली ईटन थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड दैट इज हैम बाय द एंड ऑफ द सेशन यू विल बी एबल to explain the term ham elaborate the origin of ham describe the steps involved in the processing of ham identify some of the popular hams of the world so let's start pork is the most widely eaten meat in the world accounting for over 36% of world meat intake various cured pork products are also quite widely used since ages Ham is considered as one of the most popular shaputri product which is widely eaten throughout the world. Ham is the hind leg of a pig cut from the carcass and cured by salting and drying and sometimes smoking so that it will keep for months at room temperature. Ham in its more general meaning of hind leg is applied to cured meat from other animals also including wild boar, mutton, goat, venison and even badger. the ham may be sold whole or sliced cooked or raw dried and sometimes smoked a good a good ham should be plump with an ample amount of fat under the rind pork shoulder is cured in the same way but it is not entitled to be called as ham the flavor is not as good but it can be used in cooked ham dishes gamen is the same joint as ham but it is left attached to side during bacon curing and cut from it afterwards in other words we can say that gamen is basically a raw ham which is cured but not smoked gamen is a term commonly used by britishers for fresh pork leg so a gamen has to be cooked before it is consumed many a times a gamen is also called as green ham The first records of hams comes from the classical world. The Romans knew hams made by Gauls, which were a special tribe considered to be efficient pig breeders in the last few centuries before Christ. Cato the Elder, a military leader and a political figure in Italy, described how in the 2nd century before Christ the inhabitants of North Italy made hams by layering legs of pork with dry salt followed by drying and smoking in the medieval times hams were made all over europe every cottager used to keep a pig which they used to slaughter in autumn and preserve to provide food through winter in the early days the slaughter was typically a community affair several farmers used to get together to slaughter the animal and then salting it with hands then they would hang it and then smoke in smoke house later europeans took pigs and the art of curing meat to the america where several types of hams have developed for example virginia ham country cured hams etc another expert another area of expertise in the curing of pork is china especially the region of yunnan ham produced using a dry curing mix is generally called as dried ham this slide explains the various steps involved in the preparation of dried cured ham curing is the most important step that will affect the quality of the finished product in a case of dry hams it also provides safety against spoilage hams are always cured and the procedure is different for a hobbyist and for a commercial plant the basic steps of ham processing involves following steps first is meat preparation which includes removing hind leg of pork from carcass and then it has to be cleaned and the skin can be removed according to the requirement curing curing is one of the most important thing to do when preparing meat for shakutri as it is meant to prevent bacterial contamination curing can be of two kinds dry cured and wet cured rinsing 
After meat is taken from dry cure or brine, it must be rinsed and washed in cold water to get rid of excess salt that might stuck to the surface. Resting. After the ham is hung for 12 to 24 hours to dry, this helps to form a dry skin on surface also known as pellicle which is essential prior to smoking and ensures that the smoke adheres to the surface. Netting. The netting is the casing and the cured ham must be stepped into it. Netting will help to retain the shape and will aid in even smoking or drying. Now the hams can be smoked according to the requirement and generally hams are cold smoked for 12 to 36 hours. Now the next step is drying. The cured pork leg is then taken to drying sheds where the pork legs are air dried for varied time periods in controlled environment. And it can be dried for almost 40 days with a relative humidity between 70% to 95%. Although the longer the period the better because this is the period when the raw ham is turned into food. Maturing. In this stage, the environmental condition plays a crucial role in enhancing the quality of ham. During maturation period, the temperature is progressively and gradually increased from 6 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius with relative humidity kept between 60% to 80%. This period may take 3 to 4 months and it will result in a product with minimum weight loss of 30% of the fresh product weight. Once the ham goes through all the mentioned steps and meets the quality standards, they are packed and ready to be shipped with appropriate label. When the processing of ham includes any of the cooking methods like smoking, steaming, boiling or roasting, in such situation the ham will be called as cooked ham. This slide explains the steps involved in the preparation of cooked ham. First, preparation of meat. Meat is trimmed and cleaned. Now the meat is put in tumbler. The machine spins the tumbler for almost 5 minutes which helps to loosen the skin and the unwanted skin can be removed. Excess fat is also removed at this stage leaving just a centimeter of fat. Now the legs are cured using brine solution. Without this, meat will taste like a regular pork roast. Artificial injection of brine to the pork leg is generally preferred by commercial units. Each ham is stuffed in a heat resistant cotton net. Cooking hams on trays would flatten the underside, so it is generally hanged to give them a nice and round shape. Now the ham which has been cured can be cooked. It can be cooked using smoke or it can be uh, cooked using steam as well. So generally the racks are loaded with hams and it goes inside a commercial food processing unit. The ham is now slow cooked for 12 hours at a temperature between 65 to 82 degrees Celsius. Once the ham is cooked, it is rinsed with cold water for minimum 10 minutes. This washes away the drippings falling from the higher ham on the lower ones. Now the hams can be chilled for 36 hours at 2 degrees Celsius. Now the nets come off and the packaging starts. Whole sliced or ham steaks etc. can be packed and they can be shipped. In this slide we will discuss about world famous hams. First, Hamon Serrano. The term Hamon Serrano 
is regularly applied as an umbrella culinary term for all dry cured hams produced in Spain. Hamon Serrano means mountain ham in Spanish. These are salt air dried hams and may have many regional variations. Next is Hamon Iberico, a highly esteemed Spanish ham from black Iberian pigs. This is salted and then air dried for one to three years. The best grades are from pigs grazed in the native oak forest to produce wonderfully flavored meat. Next is Prosciutto di Parma. The famous ham comes from Parma region of Italy and can be cured or cooked. The cured variety is called Prosciutto Crudo and the cooked variety is known as Prosciutto Cotto. Parma ham has a unique flavor as the pigs reared for it are fed with whey left over from the production of Parmesan cheese from that region. Westphalian ham is made in the Westphalian forest of Germany from pigs raised on acorns. This air dried ham is smoked over beech and juniper. The aromatic flavor is complemented by pumpernickel bread. Next is Bayon ham. This dried cured lightly smoked ham from southwest France uses wine in the curing process which gives it its typical flavor. Next is Black Forest ham. Robustly flavored ham from the Germany from the German Black Forest region. This is salted, spiced and then slowly cold smoke over pine logs. It should be sliced so thinly that it is almost transparent. San Daniel ham. This ham is also from Italy and it is quite similar to Parma ham but it has fairly low levels of salt added to it in the curing mix. Next is Genoa ham, much loved in China. This is made from the hind legs of a particular breed of pig which is dry salted and then soaked before drying for several months to develop a distinctive flavor. Next is Smithfield ham, considered to be the best North American country ham from Smithfield, Virginia. This is the dry salted and heavily smoked. It is usually baked or boiled. Jambon de Paris, also known as Jambon Blanc, the common French brine cured boned ham is usually, usually sold already boiled, sliced and served with mustard. Parag ham, it is a type of brine cured stewed and mildly beech wood smoked boneless ham originally from Parag in Czech Republic. It is always cooked off the bone and considered a delicacy. Virginia ham, traditionally dry salted and then usually smoked and matured for two to three years. This ham is often sweetened with sugar or honey. It may be sold as an entire ham or sliced almost always cooked and ready to eat. This is all for this session and in the upcoming session you will learn about bacon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.